What's up guys? It's Mama Deadhead and I am back with another video. So it is Valentine's Day and there is a new museum collection and wheel in the game. And I saw this offer for all of these items, which basically, actually no, I'm pretty sure it gives me a pull on this wheel after collections. Now, um, whenever I claim this, I'm going to show you how many of each item I got this morning and this offer was about five dollars and with the million food the ten birds and the four energy cans with all of this even if I only get a five star I feel like it's worth it plus the fact that lockdown told me about this before but I hadn't actually seen it basically I went in to buy it and then I backed out I was like no, not yet. I'm not ready this morning. I want to wait a little bit. I want to do a video on this. And when I backed out, it gave me like a $1 credit on any offer over $5. And it was $5.99, so it made this offer $5. So I went ahead and got it considering it was going to let me get a dollar off. And I wanted it anyway. So let's go ahead and claim. Why do you know GB is going to be on this video? And nobody's going to comment. <laughs> <laughs> wailing out wailing out okay all right so it does it does give me a pull now before actually no I can go ahead no I won't because it did give me 200 of each so I do want to talk just a little bit about what I got before I did not have any of these and I actually have not even checked where to find them they're, they're only in a mystery bag okay so so far they're only in a mystery bag but I'm sure at some point there will be more ways to get these. These drop in raids. So as you can see with the 200 that I just bought, there are 41 and that's how many I got this morning from using my six raids. And then I got a Cupid's bow for free in the offer section. It was just sitting there waiting on me. Okay, so this also isn't really available anywhere either. Only in the offer that I bought. And the offer that was free. So, I'm actually pretty close to another one because I did not realize that it was 150. I thought it was 200. So, it gets you 100 of these heartbreak tokens. So, I'm going to go ahead and claim. Woo. I'm excited. I'm so excited. So yeah, I'm already well on my way to another one. I have enough bows. Okay. Mm, heartbreak tokens. I'm not I'm not gonna pull anything else. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to everything. Now this these odds are 97% for a five star and three percent for a five star ascendable. And I'm guessing the little crates are also included in that. And considering the fact it was just a five star right off the bat, that's kind of why I got this offer. Because it, unlike the other new wheel that has four stars in it, this one doesn't. So at the very least, I got all of the, the cans and the food and the trainers and a five star character. So I felt like for five bucks, it was worth it. So you can see... We have Aaron and Eric, and then after each one of these couples is a crate, so you can uh, get both of them. I thought that this was interesting that she is in here, so I do have a chance at pulling her, even though I did not get her in that event. And there are some very good characters in here as well, like this Lacerator Rick. I think it's pretty fantastic. Lori is really great for any free-to-play person. For sure. I still use her on my team so far. Trying to work in Herschel to get him modded right. So, some very, very good characters. Let me go back. See Carl and Lydia. And then a crate with both of them. We have Guardian Ezekiel and Disarm Michonne. And then a crate with both of them. I think that the first two are definitely, like, awesome Getting the Eric would be great if you do not have Eric. I I have both of those characters. And then Glenn and the Maggie. 
Fingers crossed that I can get a five star extendable here, but I did see some unique five stars. I didn't sit through the entire wheel. I'll wait until the end of this though. Um, but yeah, I did see some interesting unique five stars in this wheel, so that is nice. Would like to get one of those. That's really my goal, just a character I don't have or an ascendable. Like all wheels, you guys know, I just want something unique. Yeah, so you see Shield Conrad, Teresa, Shield Magna, Kirkman Series Rick. I like all of these really cool five stars. So I don't know who I'm going to pull on. Just a random mom. <laughs> Why does this always happen? She's just like randomly inserted into everything. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that has to be a visual glitch that will be fixed. So I'm not, I'm not too stressed about it. Um, so a bunch of interesting five stars. Ah, I would, I really wish I could snag this guy because he would complete a collection that I can't complete otherwise. Because he's not available anywhere but like Premiere. So yeah, some pretty unique ones. <laughs> Just random Molly and Clark. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. I'm sure at some point that'll be fixed, guys, or it's just visual or something. Because Molly is always, like, randomly inserted into, like, all of these wheels. So, let's pull on the first one that kind of speaks to me. Let's pull on Ezekiel. Oh, yay! This is new. <laughs> this is new for me. I was like, I'm pulling this into bullet. No, I'd be, like, freaking out if I did that. Okay, alright. So, I got Bruce... I remember wanting him so bad back in the day when he came out. So deal 250 damage and stun to one enemy and all enemies adjacent for one turn. Now, I have seen some pretty decently successful um, tower teams that have this guy in it because of the damage that he gives to um, all adjacent. I see someone that uses, uh, I want to say... Kenny or Andrea lead with him and the blue governor or rocket launch. No, it's rocket launch Abe. And they they get towers like religiously. So might be a character that I should look into leveling just so that I can use him on towers. Maybe, maybe not. Comment down below. Do you have this guy? What do you think about that? But I have seen you successfully. So I might give it a try. So let me go ahead and screenshot That's exciting. That's fun. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with what I got. Considering the odds for an Ascendable. And how many more can I collect here? Okay, so I can collect four more from these items. And then I would imagine in some events they might just be rewards. So, might be looking at these for war rewards, potentially. But yeah, this this was a lot of fun. And as far as this goes, um, I I won't be buying anything on this wheel. Mainly because like I I like these characters, but they're they're not really for me. This is my favorite one out of all of them because he is like taunt heavy and he's faster. And you can stay around a bit with the special skill that he has and the weapon is pretty nice, but the odds are just, like, so low. Well, not really that the odds are so low, because I think technically they're higher than the Premier will. Um, but just the 92% chance for a 4-star, and I think that... Yeah, you can see it's $5 for 1. And I don't really want to take a chance for $5 for a 4-star, because I know most likely that's what it's going to be. When, you know, I can buy an offer like I just bought for $5 and at the very least definitely get a 5 star. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's that's kind of why I'm, I'm not really going for this. And you never know that maybe instead of giving out these as rewards, maybe they give out these as rewards for Cross Region War. Since it is coming up soon. What day is it? Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. So soon. But yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty excited. I'm more excited about some pulls for this one because you have the opportunity to pull two ascendables. 
And I'm sure that somebody has bought that offer this morning and gotten a crate. So comment down below if you are that person or if you pulled an Ascendable. Because this is pretty awesome. Just the thought of like being able to pull <laughs> multiple Ascendables at once is pretty exciting to me. And it looks like it won't be too hard to collect. So fingers crossed that I can get all of these. And I might wait next time and pull like the rest of these collections all at once. But yeah, that's going to be all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said, comment down below if you... Actually, comment down below if you bought the Walker Head tokens. Tell me the luck that you got from there. And if you bought that offer this morning and have enough for a Heartbreak token pull, also comment down below and tell me what you got. Did you get like a unique five star or did you get an ascendable? But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And like always, think positive thoughts and send positive vibes. Bye guys.